Hey guys, it's Cody with Taking 20 and welcome back to my Roll20 Master Series. Today's video is going to be on linking handouts in chat and using those in token action macros. So, I hope you're ready. Let's get started. Okay, so let's show you first how to link a handout in the chat window and then we will talk about building that into a macro with a template. So the first things first, what you want to do is, let me show you this, this actual link here. So to link it, what you're going to want to do is bracket and then you're going to want to type whatever you want. This is going to be whatever. Close bracket and then we're going to open parentheses and now here's the trick, we're going to put a link here. Now, what do you want to link to? Well, let's go grab something from our journal that uh, we would like to link to. So let's, uh, saving throws. Now, instead of clicking on saving throws, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to something that has been linked. You're going to right click it. You are go. Oh, well, hold on one second. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Uh, you're going to right click it. You're going to copy the link address. You're going to come back over here and you're going to paste that. And then you are going to close parentheses. So again, that's bracket, any text you want, parentheses, no spaces, the link, close parentheses. And that also works for external links. So if you have, uh, if you're playing Pathfinder and you don't want to build something into your system, but instead you are wanting to link to the PF. SRD, you can do that. And then we're going to go ahead and hit enter. And you can see it just says, it looks like normal text, but when you highlight over it, it pops right up. So that is how you actually link handouts or journal entries or external links. That's how you link things in chat in, in embedded text. Now, how do we use this? Okay, so now that we know how to do that, let's think of a creative way to use it. I showed you guys last time how I set it up with Ren. And that's what you can see here. And I think this is a pretty cool way to, to use this is by creating cheat sheets for your players. Now, is that the only thing you can do? Absolutely not. Uh, but I do like this uh, as a basis to start, especially if you have players that are new to whatever system you're running, whether that be 5e or, you know, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, I just blanked. Uh, I was thinking... FFG, like Fantasy Flight Game, okay, or Star Wars, or 13th Age, or whatever you're playing there. So uh, if you have them asking the same rules over and over and over, a good way to kind of stop them from having to do that is by just going onto their character sheet, setting this up for them one time, and telling them you can look it up while we're, while we're playing. Okay, so let's link something here uh, for in this nice, pretty template that I have created. So let's start off by going over to a character that we want to add something to. So let's pull up Ren. Okay, let's pop Ren down. Man, that's a good looking gnome. Okay, let's pull up his character sheet. Now, we're going to go over here to the abilities and uh, attributes and ability sheet, and we're going to add a new one. And let's call this conditions. He, he, this player always forgets how conditions work. And I, I had hinted at this in the last video here so that we can do this. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over here and we're going to paste our basic NPC template. Now, on the name, let's put whatever we want here. Let's test out the template. Uh, let's put uh, conditions. Okay. And then on here, let's put cheat sheet. I don't think that's how you spell sheet at all. All right. Now, the description. So we're going to take the same formula that we did here for this, and we're going to put it right there. We're going to go bracket. We're going to go conditions. We're going to close the bracket. We're going to open parentheses. We're going to go hunt it down. Now, again, okay, that's what we want. So let's go ahead and right-click this. Copy the link address. Just close that. We don't need it. And we're going to paste that link address in there. And again, don't forget to close parentheses. Now, let's test it. Cheat sheet conditions. And then you have a conditions clickable right there. 
Okay, so obviously I wanted these switched. That's really simple. Just go back in, edit it. This needs to be cheat sheet. And this part needs to be conditions. Now let's test it. Okay, now that looks good there. Now what if you don't want all of these? Not a problem. Let's show you guys. Let's just go back over here and let's just delete out this little cheat sheet section. Let's just leave it blank. One more time. Conditions. Conditions. And so if you had created an individual thing for each one of the conditions, like blinded, deafened, confused, all that, whatever, you could do that. And you can, again, you can use this however you want. This is simply a technique to show you guys a cool way to take a few different things that Roll20 can do, mash them together to create something that's really awesome for your players. So it's whatever is up to you, you can get as in depth with it as you want or you can use it just as little as you want if you only have one player asking the same question over and over and over on how deafened works create a sheet that, that gives him a rule to deafen put it in his journal tab and set him up a token action so that he can click it click down here and open it up okay guys that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you learned something if you enjoyed this video and it's your first time here I'd love to have you subscribe I'll be doing new videos on Roll20 tutorials and all kinds of stuff for role-playing games. Uh, so come hang out with us. If you have a question, please don't hesitate to ask. Leave a comment below, and uh, I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. Or you can always hit me up on Twitter, at TakingD20. Uh, and all the other social things are all down below, so you guys can check all that stuff out. Um, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cody. And may your games be filled with awesome memories and even better friends. I'll catch you guys next time. One, two, three. You didn't know you got to say it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Okay, buddy. All right, kiddo. I love you.